back to Gruesome Scratch. As I said in the last video, I've been bringing some more content up, and today I'm going to go through the molding removal on my 1976 Firebird. This will apply to other General Motors cars, and actually, you can apply it to, I know my Plymouth Roadrunner over here has the same style clips on it. So you can use the same techniques on a multitude of cars. One thing, if you're going to remove molding, you want to use a correct tool. And you're going to have people on here, probably in the comments, I use a screwdriver, never had any problems. But you can damage the molding. And the molding that I've already removed from this car has been damaged by a screwdriver from a previous owner. So, there you go. Now, I used to have this tool. Got it at Napa. It's KD. It works okay. It goes in there, pops a clip open. Um, you got to be careful, it can't scratch the glass. I was watching some YouTube videos. And I came across a guy using this. It's made by Lyle Tools. The part number is 35200. It works by you put it under the molding, squeeze it together, pulls the clip back, and you can use one of these pieces. Actually, I got these at Harbor Freight to gently pry up on the molding to free it from the car. So, a couple things you want to do. You want to have the right tools, obviously, for the job. And a Sharpie and a roll of decent quality masking tape. The masking tape is to uh, mark where the molding came from. That way you keep it organized. You know exactly where it came from. You're painting these cars, doing body work. It may take a couple years before you're ready to put that molding back on. If you have it um, organized, marked, and I put it on a board, tape to the board, we'll go through that later in the video, so it's not going to get bent up. I, um, I've had previous cars where I didn't use that technique, I put the molding like on a shelf, other things get tossed in the shelf, it gets bent. So this way you'll keep your molding um, in good condition. One thing I'm going to tell you right now, the molding on these cars is made reproduction, but the reproductions are nothing like OEM. The OEM is a lot uh, better metal, it's a lot easier to work with, especially if you're, if you're buffing it. When you go to install it, it doesn't tweak, so you want to try to reuse the OEM molding if possible. So with all that being said, let's get on to the removal of the molding. Well, you're, um, if you could, would you please hit the like and subscribe button, keep more content coming your way, it helps build the channel, I would greatly appreciate it and we'll get right on to the job at hand. Now as you can see I got my Lyle tool. One issue we were having was there was a lot of dirt built up under the molding. Twigs, leaves, dirt. The car obviously had been sitting somewhere out in the uh, probably under a tree. So I was using my uh, Harbor Freight tools to try to pry up on the molding. Like I said, I was having tr difficulty getting to the clips. There was just so much built up of dirt in there. And it was just, wasn't I wasn't able to get a hold of one of the clips. So I kept digging. Still wasn't having very much luck trying to get it up. So we were working on it, and I started getting the idea. I had that tool from Napa, the KD tool. I ended up using that actually to dig out some of the stuff, and you'll see that here in a minute. I mean, I thought about maybe I should have blown it out with compressed air, but even with the compressed air, that molding was kind of tight to the window. I don't know how much of it I would have got out. Plus it would have made a mess. So here you can see me digging out a lot of the uh, stuff. It was just a combination of dirt, leaves, twigs. I was able to get to the clips a little easier with that. The molding started to release. This is one of those jobs you just gotta have patience with it. If you try to go too fast you're going to damage the molding. This is one of those sit back, relax, take your time type jobs. 
There you can see a lot of the dirt coming out. It was bad. I don't think actually I've ever seen that much dirt in the moldings. I know my uh, Roadrunner years ago when I restored that, that had been sitting outside because I didn't have a garage at the time. And that wasn't near, near as bad as this. Like I said, it's just so much dirt in there I was having trouble finding the clip. There, I finally got a hold of it. The Lyle tool does work well. Yeah, look at that dirt. Looked like there was a piece of, almost looked like maybe somebody had put strip caulk or something on, on the uh, inside of the molding. I don't know what for. That probably held in a lot of the dirt. I'll work on the other side. Slowly starting to release from the clips. Normally, like I said, it wouldn't be this big of a deal if there wasn't that much dirt built up in there. It would have come off a lot easier. I finally got the bottom piece freed up. Here you can see it finally releasing. Ah, the sweet. Okay, folks, here's victory. the uh, molding <laughs> safely stored on a board. There you go. Once I got that piece off, the other molding see, came off got fairly marked. easily. Where it came from, which is where each piece goes, it's taped. I'll put this in a safe location so we don't have to worry about the molding getting damaged. Well, the car is undergoing body work. Here's something I wanted to point out as I talked to uh, you guys earlier about using screwdrivers to remove this molding. That's what somebody did here. They rolled that molding up. There's two reasons you don't do it. This is one of them. And the second is you can scratch the glass. So it's really just so much easier to buy the right tool for the job. That Lyle tool is $15 to $20 on Amazon, eBay. I will put a link in the description of the video for it. The KD tool I also showed you that's available at Napa's. Very inexpensive. It works just not as well as the Lyle tool does. So there you have it. Uh, we'll probably be taking the front molding off and then working on getting the windshields and the rear window out of the vehicle so I can start stripping the paint off it. So, have a great day. God bless. I will talk to you soon.